Um, but this one talks about now you simplify, you apply distributive property, and then combine like terms. And here's a very common mistake. So it's important just to focus on this because it's a common mistake. I've made it. Actually, I, well, I don't think I've made it, but I've, I'll make other mistakes. First of all, you see parentheses. I have two of them. So apply distributive property for both of them. Negative 3 times 4 is going to be a 12x. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 plus 24x plus 4 equals 43. OK, yes? That is a 12x, thank you. Um, so now we have to combine like terms. If you guys look at my process, apply to distributive property, combine like terms. The common mistake that students will make is they'll, is they'll say, like, oh, two numbers. So when we want to get rid of here, when we basically are combining these, we're using the properties of equality. We're subtracting a 10 on the left side, subtracting a 10 on the right side. And the most common mistake students will do is they'll apply the properties of equality over here. They'll say, like, oh, I'll add 9 and add 9 to the same side. That doesn't work. Properties of equality only work when you do one operation to one side and another operation to the same side, to the other side. Since my numbers, negative 9 and 4, are on the same side, I can just do negative, four, negative 9 plus 4. Since I have negative 12x and 24x on the same side, I can just combine them. So a lot of times it's helpful to rewrite it. You don't have to do this, but I'll just do this this one time so you guys can see. What, I do, what I'm doing is I'm just organizing the variables next to each other. I'm putting the x's next to each other and the, and the numbers next to each other. Therefore, negative 12x plus 24x is 12x. And negative 9 plus 4 is going to be 5 equals 43. Right? OK. And then we just go ahead and solve. Um, so I'll subtract 5. Subtract 5, and I get 12x is going to equal 38. Divide by 12, divide by 12. 12 does not divide into 38, does it? So therefore, we're going to have to reduce our fraction. Um, we don't want to, I mean, you can leave it like this, but if you have it on like a standardized test, it's not going to be reduced. Yes, I make a mistake. Negative 9 plus 4, so it's negative 5. Thank you. Thank you. I was wondering. I was like, yeah. thank you. Thank you. So you're going to be adding 5, right? So therefore, it's going to give you 48, which 12 is, divides into 48, right? 12 divides into 48? Yeah. 48? Four. Four times. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to make mistakes just like you guys. Don't worry. <laughs>